Sometimes the games and content we adore and applaud have nothing to do with a playstyle or a genre. Sometimes it just all comes down to ATD, attention to detail. And when we see superior ATD in the content we consume, it deserves to be recognized. Today, we're talking Warcraft. For those of us who've been away from Warcraft for a while, the newest Legion expansion is overflowing with copious amounts of ATD. And this is an understatement. I could do the entire ATD series with this single expansion alone. Between class order hall NPCs, quests, artifacts, it's overwhelming. So we're gonna start small, with one of my favorite mobs ever since I laid eyes on the classic World of Warcraft box art, the Yeti. In the most recent games patch 7.3, a number of new mobs were added, as well as reskins, to some of the more older and forgotten enemies. Creatures like the Trogs, Ethereals, the Broken, and of course, the Yeti, all received a well-deserved facelift. So I saw the data mined images, said, hey cool, threw it up on Pinterest, and I moved on. Until this week, when I began questing through WoW's classic Frostbitten Wonderland. Winter Spring. And I'm doing breadcrumb quests, and I'm murdering furbogs for beads, until a goblin mentions that she needs some yeti pelts. So I'm like, oh yetis, I love yetis. And I mount up, and I head to the yeti cave. I kill one, I loot it, I kill two, I loot it, I kill one more, and... Wait, I'm sorry. These yetis don't look alike. I thought I was going crazy. These yetis weren't all the same. So I started checking out names. The matriarch yeti, the patriarch yeti, the normal yeti, and are you kidding me? Their horns are different. I can tell the difference at a glance between the matriarch, the patriarch, and the normal yeti by merely looking at their horns. By merely looking at their horns. Whose idea was this? This is cool. Now, I'm not so much praising the yeti horns. I'm praising the artist and the designer responsible for the yeti horns. Because they are actively looking for ways to add unique changes to mobs that used to be copy and paste. They totally could have had every Yeti and Wendigo model sporting the same horns across the board. No one would bat an eye. I know I wouldn't have cared, but the guys at Blizzard, they do. These creators hold themselves to a higher standard than that. And if they're going to go out of their way, even give a second thought to how to make these unimportant forgettable mobs and NPCs more unique and individualized, you can damn well be sure these guys will give you 100% when it counts. And right now I'm seeing more and more big creators doing what's easy and mundane with enemies, as opposed to unique and thought out. <coughs> Destiny. Even the guy in charge of reskinning a digital yeti, a yeti you'll only find in four little cave locations across the entirety of Azeroth that you never visit, deserves a little recognition. Because more and more often, it's the little things that are making a big difference and Blizzard hasn't forgotten that. That means something. So bravo, Yeti Horns guy. You deserve the praise. You're what ATD is all about.